Hey guys, it's Calvary from The Corner. One of the big things I get often is, I'm so angry. I am so mad. I don't know why I'm so mad. I get mad at my wife. I get mad at my children. I get mad at my job. I'm so angry. Well, okay. How do you defeat anger? You have to, you have to increase your knowledge of anger, right? How can you battle an enemy that you don't know? Are you just going to go out on the street with eight, th eight billion people and find your single enemy? It doesn't work like that. You have to know what anger is, right? And a lot of people don't understand or recognize that all anger is. Now, you can Google this. All anger, anger is is a chemical response, okay, triggered a chemical response triggered due to the lack of self-control of your ego. All right. I'm going to say that one more time. Anger is a chemical response that is triggered due to the lack of self-control of your ego. Okay. And once you bring knowledge and um, bring knowledge to yourself, uh, knowledge of your dopamine and your ego, and you add self-control, um, you'll uh, start understanding your chemical makeup. So you have to be in charge of your chemicals, right? Now, this is a, a thing I did. When I, when I, once I found out that dopamine was controlling me and controlling my ink and controlling my issues, and these chemicals, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and these endorphins, once I, I, I was knowledgeable of them, I started saying, well, why can't I control them when I want them to go off? Right? Why can't I have this, this, this love chemical when I need to feel that love? I can make it myself. I, I, my body produces that dopamine. Why can't I, why can't I control the production of that inside my body? I can. You can. We can. The problem is, is nobody really harps on the self-control of these chemicals. Right? So, and the triggers of the, of, of these, of the lack of self-control. Now, people will probably argue with me. I've, I've had it go back and forth where, you know, well, you can't tell me how I feel. And I get it. I can't tell you how to feel. Nobody can tell you how to feel. But I can tell you what makes you feel that way. And that's dopamine, the chemical dopamine. Um, if you... If you use drugs, if you use cocaine and you eat chocolate, it's still chocolate produces, it helps produce dopamine. Cocaine helps produce, it produces dopamine. Dopamine is the reaction that we look for. Now, uh, when you get that knowledge and you apply that knowledge and say, you, you do different tactics like I did, I, I knew that my anger was putting me in a prison all right so what i did I, I i used to put these bands little hair things that i got from my daughter i would put these bands on my hand and um i would put it together when whenever i got angry i knew that my anger was sacrificing my freedom and after i put them together and i looked at that bondage that i was putting myself in i would swap them out and switch wrists to keep me aware that I am making this anger problem. I am becoming a situation to myself, right? And and I and eventually, eventually I started owning the process of that slavery of dopamine. Alright? So you can do that that's just one thing I did for myself. Now, now when I'm in it with somebody or um, or somebody wants to be in an encounter of anger or, or display of emotion, because basically that is, that's what it is. I'm displaying my emotions while producing this dopamine, getting ready to possibly cause myself a loss. And I've caused myself a loss many times with anger. So once again, little risk. 
I looked at it as handcuffs, my freedom. Anger will, anger will take your freedom away. It takes your freedom of choice. It takes your, um, it takes, it can take your actual freedom. There are many people locked in jail right now because of anger and that dopamine response. You know, and then look at, start really, um, what made me want to tackle anger. You know, once I understood the knowledge of what was happening to my body and 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 trying to own the self-control of 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 all of it, right? I, I finally figured it out. I was like, well, I had to be disciplined. I had to discipline myself. I had to discipline myself with the um with the ties on my hand to know that I didn't want to be in prison. I didn't want to be, I wanted to be free. I had to discipline myself. And I realized during that process that discipline births self-control. It, it, it's, it's like the mother of it. So I had to, I had to decide, discipline, I had to decide to say, you know what? I don't want to lose anymore. I don't, I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to take on the burden of loss. And, and what I realized was once discipline bursts the self-control inside of you, self-control maintains your discipline. Yeah, it is. Re I, it, it's pretty simple. It is pretty simple. And I'm not a complicated guy. I try to keep things as simple as possible. So I discipline myself enough to say, look, I'm going to put on these, these shackles, these fake shackles made of material i'm gonna put on these fake shackles i'm gonna wear these fake shackles to represent my freedom i was disciplined now my self-control was looking at those shackles and i started developing the self-control like my self-control was saying look you're gonna control yourself from loss you're gonna control yourself from losing because of your anger it is a risk to be angry how much is the cost of my anger most people don't ask themselves that. Most people don't ask themselves, uh, uh, is the cost of losing my children, is that worth it? Is the cost of losing my family because of my anger, is that worth it? My friends, my job, you know, I, I lost people, I lost people that, that could have changed my life because of my anger. And I gained uh, listen closely. I gained people that did change my life because of my anger, but it didn't change me in a positive way. I lost reality of future. And let me tell you something. It ain't worth it. Anger is not worth all the things I just kicked off because those things involve people. And see... I lost people and people matter when things don't. The human mentality matters when, when things just won't. A person can pick up the phone and call 911, but if I buy that super hot um, uh, Apple or Samsung 28 that takes pictures by itself, that phone will not call 911 for me. It won't. That boat won't. That, that new golf club, it won't. All because I'm angry. I learned to this big phrase, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it in the end to lose because of a chemical makeup called dopamine. So I... I hope this helps everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna redo this. Um, well, not redo, but I wanna, I'm gonna do this tomorrow and finish this up a little bit on how to control yourself with anger. But I like to thank everybody. Please keep following me on YouTube. Thank you, Purpose and Resilience, and if YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, just uh, thank you guys. But you'll hear more coming. Much life, much love. Believe that.